I uh, tell you this, a lot of people don't know this about me. Uh, I have ADD. <laughs> Look, look, everybody just stared at me at the same time like, no kidding. <laughs> we'll take things we already knew for 200, Alex. <laughs> you guys are like, you don't have ADD, dude, you have ADHD. <laughs> it's true, I just don't have time for the H. <sighs> you guys, I love you guys. I was just messing with you earlier. Look, look the Amish people are like, this is the weirdest magician ever. <laughs> Who needs a rabbit? <laughs> I, uh, I do it. Listen, man, we get a bad rap with ADD, but let me tell you something. You know what's great about ADD? If you have ADD, you never get depressed. Yeah, you can't get depressed with ADD. Why? You don't have time. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. With ADD, you're like, ah, oh, man, I just got fired. <coughs> hey, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Problem over. Come on, Amish people, let's do this. <laughs> that was great. I just dove across the stage, chasing an imaginary butterfly, bounced off the column, and half of you looked at me like, oh no, he reminds me of my kid. <laughs> I got some good news for you, Utah. You got good news coming at you. Here it is. You can learn something by watching my show tonight. That's right. For example, you can learn that your kid can get a job someday. <laughs> There's hope. Yes. Your kid can totally get a job someday. Telling jokes to 300 people in Provo, Utah at a dry bar comedy special, baby. Come out. <laughs> You guys are awesome, man. I, uh, I was joking one night about ADD, and this lovely lady came up to me after the show. She goes, um, I have a question. Are you ever worried about offending people who have ADD? <sighs> I was like, heck no. If people with ADD get mad at me, it's gonna last for like three seconds. <laughs> They'll get over it. They got a lot of things to almost do. <laughs> Thank you for getting that part, Utah. <laughs> if you have ADD, you might not finish anything, but you start something new every five minutes. <laughs> Keep busy. <laughs> I, uh, I tell you what though, man, I am ADD. I'm also dyslexic. I really am dyslexic. Yeah, you too, all right. Of course you are, you're yelling before the joke. <laughs> Absolutely, either that or you're psychic. <laughs> I, uh, it's true, man. I, we get a bad rap, you know? Because you tell people you're dyslexic, they think not only do you read backwards, but you behave backwards. That's not true. It's not like when I get into a, a car, I yell shotgun and jump in the trunk. <laughs> I mean, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I joke about dyslexia, but there's, there's one awesome benefit. Mm. There's one amazing benefit of being dyslexic. Here it is. I got pulled over by the police recently. It was a DUI checkpoint. I wasn't drinking at all, but they were making everybody take a test. And I was like, oh, great. He's gonna make me touch my nose or stand like a peacock, right? But no, the cop goes, all right, son, I want you to say the alphabet backwards. <laughs> really? Thank you. <laughs> all right, the alphabet backwards. Gee, officer, how would that go? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Hey! Now I said my Z, Y, X, let me go, cause I'm not gonna wreck it. Yeah! 